Hi Cancer, welcome to your reading. So this is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Cancer and you're hoping to learn more about what's going on with them energetically, I'm Wendy Irene, founder of GiveLoveCreateHappiness.com. You can also find links to my work at WendyIrene.com. I'd love for you to join me if you feel called to. So to start out this reading, we're going to um, just take a moment to really connect with our higher self. So I'm going to play the sound bowl. I want you to take a moment to take a few deep breaths. I know that so many of us are so busy that I'm hoping these videos are your chance to just take a few moments to kind of just meditate for a minute or relax for a minute. Let the sound clear your energy. When you exhale, let everything that you're carrying be released into the ground to be recycled. Just visualize that and really focus on taking big breaths and really relaxing because connecting with your higher self is way more important than anything I say or any cards that come up. Um, tarot is just kind of meant to be like a good friend and it will help you understand what messages you think you were meant to hear more being in that state. Okay, so go ahead and close your eyes if you'd like. Take a deep breath. Exhaling all the weight that you carry on your shoulders down into the ground. And just continue to breathe that way. After I'm done playing the sound bowl, you may hear me shuffling the cards. I'm going to pull all the cards at once to give you more time to really relax. So let's get started.
Okay, Cancer, I hope you got a moment to really let go and relax. So let's get started with the messages that have come up for you today. So the first card that's come up is yes and choose peace. In terms of the Choose Peace card, I'm really feeling like uh, the message is for you to make the choice which is most peaceful for you. So if you need to walk away from a situation that just doesn't feel peaceful, you're being asked to choose peace. If you need to just let go of, um, maybe you know that, uh, you know how they say, um, you can choose to be right or you can choose to be happy. There may be some situation where, you know, you may you may feel strongly about something, but there's a more peaceful choice that you can make and it's kind of like letting go of, of what other people think kind of in a way and just choosing like, what is the most peaceful thing for yourself? What is the most peaceful path? What's gonna feel the best for you? Um, saying you could be saying yes to something here with the yes card or also the universe is like bringing in something for you that it very much wants you to say yes to there could be an opportunity that um, comes in that's very much in alignment for you and the message is that this is a yes for you or it could be a relationship where like um, this is a yes for you so you very strongly have yes in coming in and it's going to be different for each one of you. That's why it's so important to listen to your intuition above anything else. But there's something, some area of your life where the answer is yes, okay? And also, this is tied together with your peace and feeling peaceful and feeling happy. And I mean, I think that's really the goal for many of us is how can we be in a state of peace and how can we do it more often here? So the next cards that came out are true love and boundaries. So for some of you, you are dealing with a love situation where your heartstrings have been pulled here. Um, the universe is wanting to deliver great love to you, but there's also this energy of boundaries, which means saying no to anything that's not right for you. There are like there are things that are non-negotiable that are incredibly important where you know the love no longer becomes something that feels good if this boundary is being crossed and so you're being asked to understand that that even though like this is great love and true love it is still important that you maintain the boundaries that are extremely important to you for your well-being so that you have that peace within because if your boundaries being crossed you'll know because sometimes like it could make you angry it could obviously make you not feel peaceful um, or hurt so it's important to love yourself enough to say no to others sometimes or no to demands on your time and energy um, also, for those of you that aren't dealing with a love situation, this is an act of self-love, like having these boundaries where you say no when you need to, or you don't let things take your time and energy that aren't feeling good for you. That's a huge act of self-love. Treating yourself that way with that love actually brings in even greater love to you because it brings in love that will respect your boundaries, that will truly love you unconditionally, okay? But it comes from you being able to hold those boundaries when you need to um, so, that, so that you only allow that which is really good for you into your life here. Okay, so the next deck is fairies and crystals. Fairies for me is all about, and crystals, this is all about nature. This is nature energy. This is you connecting with nature energy, allowing this nature energy to support you and help you in any situation here. And for some of you, it's also like your life purpose involves nature in some way. Um, I think of fairies as just like the energy around plants and animals, that divine energy around them. Uh, so when you connect with nature, whether you're like taking care of a plant or you're just being outside and appreciating the fall colors or connecting with trees or whatever it is for you, pay attention to that energy that you feel around the plants and animals, okay? 
And crystals are, for me, personally, a message of really just beautifying your space. Um, you, you may love crystals. They may bring you happiness. It may make you feel like the space is more beautiful and happy. But really, it's about for, the message that I get personally is that it's make your space like your sanctuary, right? Like give yourself a space that's like really your cozy, feel good, um, get away from everything space, especially being a beautiful water sign, feeling things very deeply. It's really important that you have a space that is yours, that's your sanctuary, that's um, your temple kind of in a way that is your peaceful place uh, where you don't allow energy that's harsh there for you and and maybe you connect with nature in some way so maybe you do have a plant or or maybe you're just actually spending more time paying attention to that energy because there may be projects or things that want to come through you that are really to help the earth and I feel like there's so many people being called to that right now especially with the state that everything's in I feel that there are more and more people who are here that have that connection with nature for a reason because it's really needed right now. It's very healing for both you and the earth at the same time. Okay, from the first tarot deck, we have the Eight of Michael, the Queen of Raphael, and the Two of Ariel all together here. Let's take a moment to show you. So let me see, oh, these combine together. I feel that you're being courageous in some way here. It can be in terms of following your heart. You be, you, you know, for some of you, you could be making a choice to change your situation and that's the courageous, courageous thing here. Or you're freeing yourself from something or, um, you're asking for guidance to see things clearly because maybe you didn't feel like you were th seeing things clearly before. So you're trusting your the information that you download. So you can call that psychic information. You can call that information from the divine, your higher self, whatever makes sense for you. But also with the Queen of Raphael here, I'm also feeling that home energy, that home and family energy type of thing. And family doesn't have to be blood, right? Um, for me personally, what is really incredibly important is who are the people that uplift you, right? Who uplift you, who are really truly in your corner. Like that is your family. Some of them may be blood and some of them may not be. Um, for many people, it's not blood relations, but like that's your family. So you're following your heart here. I do feel like, again, I'm feeling very much that making your home space, your sanctuary, that's really what this Queen of Raphael energy is about. It's also, I'm also feeling like this energy of kindness and understanding really emanating from you. But it's important to have balance. So if you're working on multiple jobs or projects at once, like there's an importance for you to have fun. So you may need to stop what you're doing to have fun or you may need to really try to incorporate fun into what you are doing because the universe wants you to have joy and wants you to have fun and wants you to have happiness and I know that balance is something that can feel like it's very hard to achieve I wouldn't I wouldn't focus too much on like oh how do I perfectly balance everything in life because that itself can cause stress but what you should focus on is what can I do to make my day more fun what would bring me joy like what can I do while I'm doing whatever projects I'm doing, what would make them more fun? Or when can I just say, hey, I need to take a break and I need to have some fun. Um, I need to follow my heart. I, you know, I need to feel that love of life and uh, that love energy around me. So, okay. In the next deck, you have Justice, King of Water, Your Energy, Cancer, and Page of Fire. So water and fire energy here. Um, so justice, the universe making something right for you, like it's recognizing your hard work or it's knowing that, um, it's important for you to stand up for your beliefs. When we were talking about boundaries, justice can have to do with that too. Like really standing up for your beliefs, saying no when you need to say no, doing what you know is right. Okay. Um, 
But the universe, I feel like, is bringing justice in for you because uh, the, the universe has this way of balancing things out, okay? And it isn't about, um, a lot of times it's just allowing the universe to do that, right? Having that trust in the universe. The king of water, that's really you getting a hold of your emotions in a really beautiful way, like learning to not let people rock your boat. Uh, not Learning to not let people take your peace from you. I know that that's so much easier said than done, but Cancer, I feel like that's what you're doing. You're like you're really learning to go within yourself and stay in that, understand that that peace comes from within you here. It's also, you're really opening your mind and your heart so that there, you know, for those of you that are dealing with a love situation, this true love, like some of you are really opening your heart now. Um, but I love the water energy because it's, especially the king of water, it's very trustworthy, it's compassionate. Um, you know, it's a, it's cultured and respected. It's, it's a beautiful energy. For some of you, you may be doing charity work of some kind. Um, could have to do with nature, like we were saying before. But the page of fire is like also could be a new opportunity, um, something that really lights your fire. It's a, uh, it could be a message of something that's a new opportunity, or it could be something new with a fire sign, but it's outgoing energy. It's very creative and confident. Um, so I feel like some of you might be getting news of something exciting here with the page of fire. And I really feel like it's because it's the universe bringing justice in and you being in the king of cups energy, your energy really being um, in that good place here. So I, it's like your originality is being recognized and the universe is bringing in justice. You're really being um, that gorgeous water sign that you are here, but you also have this fire energy coming in that can be like really exciting or a new endeavor of some kind here. And then what's really interesting, again, we have the justice card in another deck that come out. I love it in this deck particularly because I love this Isis energy. Uh, the universe is definitely bringing in justice to you for some situation, like making something right. The three of cups, you could be cooperating with someone else. Um, it could be like there could be some kind of team effort. So for some of you, there may be a new opportunity that involves other people that is really fulfilling for you here. Or you may just be feeling like you have um, are being supported by a tribe of people that are right for you. But, you know, this this justice energy is the energy that has come in both times in two different decks or very strongly. So understand that the universe is bringing in justice for you in whatever situations you're in. Um, it is bringing in that balance that you so deserve. It's making something right for you here, Cancer. I am so happy you've spent this time with me. Know that I am supporting you energetically, each one of you with my love and light. And in your corner, I am hoping that you have a beautiful November. Thank you so much for joining me, Cancer. I will see you again soon. Bye.